think it's a confusion when sometimes when people look at my artwork is that it's very high tech, but really it's extremely low tech. It's very basic, it's very uh, primal, it's physical. The reason I can make like music that drags in a way that doesn't sound like it's being played off the computer is because I'm doing it all manually. I'm gonna go high. As I go up? Yep. Oh, that's not too bad. Shit. I think I decided to make my own instruments initially because I was having trouble making heavier music with electronic instruments that were available. I'm also a mechanical engineer in microfluidics and microscopy. I did some bands while I was in engineering school, metal bands, playing bass and guitar. I'm just equally as passionate about the music as I was about the engineering. I kind of got frustrated by the band member thing. So at some point I was like, I'm gonna program drum machine music and play my guitar along with it. But playing along with the sequence with the guitar, it kind of gets away from you. It sounds great in the studio, but it needed to be more live. I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna make a, something that I slide. It just took off from there. These were the first ones that I made. So these are basically just controllers for synthesizers. USB output to your computer or to any synth that you want. The idea with this was that the faster you go, the, the higher the pitch. So this is a new setup, tentatively calling it like the gridiron, the stylus right here that basically follows the grooves. You can create the beats like that. This one's called Rails. This is the one I played the most, toured the most with. There's eight buttons here. So you can basically do different combinations of buttons at different positions to uh, trigger different sounds. They don't make their own sound, it's an interface. I'm basically taking a really nice physical thing, a small machine that I've built, and then you basically just attach encoders or potentiometers to them so that you can send that to a little computer and read out all that information. This one is basically, I wanted to have a big chunk of steel that spun and slid, something you just could really... This one was difficult because you gotta measure the spinning with an encoder and the sliding. thing about it having weight, the device having weight, is you can hear the weight. It's using the quality of the materials to act as your instrument. This is the National Center for Microscopy and Imaging Research. I work with physicists and biologists to come up with new ways to image cell biology. This device allows you to take a block, a one millimeter, one millimeter cube of mouse brain or whatever sample, and you slice it and then image each slice. I don't know what this sample is. It's probably some brains. These devices are, are basically small robots, and we need to modify them and make them work better. So that's my job. I'm a mechanical engineer. I work with 3D modeling software and then modify them, get a machine to the shop, bring them back in. So when I'm building a lot of the instruments that I'm designing, I use the same software in some ways. The partnership between the two things keeps me fresh. I mean, a lot of what I do is based on hardware and automation equipment and gears and bearings and things that slide. So there's something about like being in that environment with this really, I mean, these, these microscopes are $10 million. No one's spending that kind of money on making a musical instrument, but I'm trying to like uh, apply those same design strategies. When I was first building them, it was like I had a sound in mind and I really wanted to find a way to appropriately like play that sound. But now I think it's more what my body is like able to do live as one person. Right now I'm working on an album for a Relapse that comes out sometime in the fall. And this one is special for me because it, I've built new instruments for the first time since like 2010. These new instruments, it's a totally new idea. And I may have a partner or two to develop these into something like a boutique uh, controller company or instrument company. Because I don't see that many tactile, physical, industrial controllers. And I feel like it's a shame because there's so many gnarly musicians out there and those guys should have gnarly stuff.
Thank you.